Okay, so now we're actually going to implement our looping. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this second task that we had here, and I'm going to get rid of this when statement, although in this small module on looping, we are actually going to revisit the when statement. But for now, I actually, I actually just want to look at looping over a simple list. Okay, so I'm going to implement the keyword loop because we just saw that in the documentation. And this is the best way to implement a loop at this point in time. So it's just very simple. We just add the loop keyword. And you'll notice that it's at the same level here inside this object as we did it with the when. Okay, anything that's one indentation in is, a, is, is something of a parameter that you're feeding to this module. Whereas at this level, we're talking to Ansible here. All right. So it goes at the same level as the module name, not the properties, just like with the when statement. So in this case, we want to we wanna loop over our list. And if we go back to that documentation, we can see that it's a simple case of just giving it the list in a string with our curly braces, right? So we just go, duh, 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 and then we just go B. Now, how do we access the item? We use the item keyword. Okay, so what happens is this. Ansible is going to read this task and it's going to go, okay, you want to run this task every time I find an item inside this list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to read the first value out of the list. I'm going to create a variable called item. And then I'm going to run this task for you. And I'm going to set the, I'm going to give you the variable item, which will contain the value that I found in the loop. Then when you've done that, I'm going to move over to the next item within the loop and I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to set a variable called item to the next value that I found and then I'm going to run your task again. So if we're looping over B and we know that B has two items in it, we can safely say that this task will execute twice and we will get the value two and then three. So let's give that a try. Let's run that. And now we get two, three, two, three. Now we get it four times, or rather we get it twice because we have two servers within our web servers host, right? So we're getting it, we're getting it, it's running twice. So it's running, this is one run against one server. There's one IP there. And then this is a second run against the second server. And we get our item there. But the important thing is that we actually got hello2, hello3. See? And we can actually see our variable here is actually equal to the value. So item equals 2, item equals 3. Okay? Item. So that is a very, very simple loop over a very, very simple list.